welcome back. Um, in this video, I'll go through what I've decided on the fuel system. So, uh, unlike most trikes which are made from um, just you know mountain bikes or BMX bikes, I've made mine from a motorbike, and I want that bobber look. So, I'm going to use an actual motorbike fuel tank. Here's one I got. You can see it's absolutely shocking on the inside. It's been laying around for years. Uh, a lot of scale, rust, and just grime in there. So. What I decided to do is try a bit of an experiment using sodium carbonate. Not uh, that's not bicarb soda. It's sodium carbonate. Uh, it's typically used as a washing medium for like laundry washing. And if you're an Aussie, uh, we have it here called electric acid or electric soda, and it's just a couple of dollars. So you fill your tank right up, brim fill. Uh, it's very important that the negative terminal from your battery charger goes to the bit you don't uh, want to corrode, so you want to remove the rust from, and the positive goes <coughs> to the anode. The anode is uh, mild steel, and once you set it up to your charger, I'm running it about 4 amps, and the amount of amps is going to be dependent on how big your anode is. So. You can see what's starting to come off already. This is after probably the first two or three hours. And here's a first rinse, probably after having it on there for uh, about 10 or 12 hours. So put some new soda in there, did it again, rinse it again. You can see it's actually getting darker and just let it do its thing. Now you'll notice there, there's a, a fuse. Now what I've done on the positive side, I've got that fuse, so just in case that metal touches the tank, uh, it will short out, so it just protects me from, from that happening. Uh, here's the second anode. So the anode actually corrodes away after a bit of time, so this one's a bit bigger, so I could get right down the side, and you can see it's literally getting black. And it seemed to get blacker as I, I got it cleaner. And now here it's pretty good. Uh, at this point what I did is I just put a heap of nuts and bolts in it, shook it around, rinsed it out a number of times, and all of that black was just uh, sitting on the surface. It wasn't actually rust anymore. So you can see here, given a final rinse, and I'm just getting fresh water finally. And um, you have a quick look inside here. It's turned out awesome. So it took about maybe ad hoc over the four or five days of just having my charger on. It's just a regular car battery charger. Bit of uh, sodium carbonate, and that's it really. And now I'm just spraying some WD-40 in there to stop it rusting. So there's a couple of dents here. I'm going to have a go at pulling these out. Uh, so I'm just putting some epoxy on there. And in the next video, I will uh, see how far I can get those dents out. I'll probably just bog up the rest of it. And then I plan to respray it. So that's pretty much the fuel tank. It is a bit different, but I think it's going to look pretty cool, actually. So here's the seat support bar. Just tacking that in. Um, I, I'm really happy with the way the rear end of this turned out. So that's the seat support. Now what I'm doing is just removing the exhaust. So the pit bike exhaust sort of goes up and over the engine. And I want to change that so it sits underneath. So just using this stock bit of pipe, I've just cut that a little bit, marked it off. I weld that. And then um, my plan is, I think that's one inch, and I'm going to run inch and a quarter for most of the way back. And inch and a quarter, funnily enough, uh, internally is exactly the same size as that pipe externally. So here's a bit of inch and a quarter sitting through my frame. And you can see here it doesn't quite line up. I need to bend it a little bit. So here it is. I just I uh, got the big oxy out as I did before with the other bar. Did a few bends in it. Slipped that on. Fit perfectly. So it goes from the engine underneath, just a couple of mil clearance either way on there. I bent it so it sits on the side of the frame, it's nice and parallel to that. And then I'll hook it up around the corner at the back a bit later, and I'll have a sports muffler. So again, to be a bit different, I'm actually planning to use this muffler. It's a, it's a GP Moto copy, and it I think it's going to look amazing actually. Uh, really well built and it's a stainless steel unit. Uh, the welding on it is amazing, like, check that out. So uh, that's two inch, I'll taper it down to inch and a half and then I'll taper it further where you can't see it till it goes to inch and a quarter. Haven't really decided yet the angle, but I'll make it look pretty cool just sticking out the back. 
And again, a bit bit of cosmetics on the back, two little uprights just for a bit of looks and also extra strength. So I'll weld this frame up fully a bit later. Uh, here's the seat mount. It has got some spring on it. I'm using a saddle type seat. It's uh, a cushion type. And I must say out of this whole build, it's one thing I'm not sure whether I'm going to go with that or change it to something else. But for now, that'll do. Here I'm just knocking up a battery holder. Uh, it's just a little 12 volt battery that is normally in a pit bike anyway. Just making its own little cradle. I weld this into the frame. And then what I do is tidy up all the wiring so everything's out the way and nice and neat. So there's a battery sitting back there. Most of the wiring, there's not much to it, certainly compared to the Mozuki. So I'll just run the, the cabling here, try to tidy it up a little bit. Uh, there's a little plate I'm going to make here. So this plate is to cover uh, the ignition switch. Uh, so the ignition switch will go on one side and the other side will just have a plate. So I'm just cutting out the profile I marked off. And uh, all I've done really is one side will have a hole with the ignition switch. The other side will be a solid plate. And as we'll see in a moment, I just uh, center pop a hole, um, use a hole saw, and then like all keys, there's a little notch, you can see it there, and then I picked a file the right width, and I just file a little keyway almost. So I put the keyway in, file it to the right depth so that it fits in there, and then uh, there you go, fits in, nut goes on, that's pretty much what holds the ignition. So I weld this onto the frame, finish the wiring, and you'll see in a moment, I, I just try to start it. There's no fuel tank on it. It revs a little bit uh, with a bit of fuel that was in there, but it was mainly just to check that I had the electrics right. So there's the battery, ignition switch, push bar, button start, and starts, runs fine, everything works. And the other thing I've done in this engine is actually a neutral, um, Signal. So I'm just drilling a hole here in the top of the um, forks and I'm putting this light and what I'm doing is I'm going to wire it so that when it's in neutral that, that light will come on. So here's a look at the tank. I think it's going to look awesome. I really like the front. As I say, I'm not 100% sure on that seat so have a look at that next time around or a bit later. There's the neutral light. Uh, next video, I will uh, finish off the exhaust. Stay tuned.